Next question, how is ADD different than ADHD? So um, this is one of my favorite topics to talk about because I get to talk about the DSM, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, which is our big book of um, diagnoses that we use in psychiatry to label things. So keep in mind that a label is a working label. It is a way for two different mental health clinicians to talk to each other using somewhat, the, somewhat of the same language. And so um, uh, that book changes over time. And that's the beauty of uh, the field of psychiatry and mental health is that we evolve and our knowledge evolves and our book evolves because it's keeping up with culture and context and that sort of thing. And so in the third book, there was a, um, a diagnosis called attention deficit, attention deficit disorder, ADD. And that was kind of in the 70s, 80s. And so a lot of our parents, um, I'm like, wait, hold on me. Yeah, how old am I? Yeah. So a lot of our parents um, fell under that book. And so they would, as we got more and more awareness of um, childhood development and um, some of the conditions that come with that, they would use those terms, ADD, ADD, ADD. Well, then when the fourth book came out and they did a revision of that fourth book, um, so it's the DSM-4 uh, text revision, they um, adjusted everything and they changed it to ADHD, so Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and then they had three subtypes, um, the inattentive type, the hyperactive impulsive type, and the combined type. And ADD is the same as ADHD inattentive type. And so that's how those two things are similar. And so when I hear people come in and they go, oh, I think I have ADD, but I'm not hyperactive. And I go, oh, okay. So what you're saying is you have ADHD. And they go, no, I don't have ADHD. I don't have the hyperactive part. And I go, let me explain all this. So uh, so that's where that part comes in. So it's it's a little bit confusing. It's one of those things where we're just going to, I just, it's just part of my job. So I just deal with it. And I hope uh, and mentally, mental health interpret that stuff for people who ask, just like Eli is mental health interpreting the things I say and putting it in the chat so that you can read it. Hooray, because interpretation is important as well as context. And so that's the difference between ADD and ADHD. If you decide to run around and say you have ADD, hopefully you do so that it doesn't confuse people. Um, that is an appropriate term is just know that the other person listening to you is going to automatically convert that to ADHD inattentive type.